Hi guys, Trollski here and today we are making some experiment, a small one, but I was always wondering what's happened under the surface of the quenching liquid during the heat treatment, so I decided I need to try it. So guys, I, I built this small chamber, it's an old aquarium filled with, with water, it's in 16 uh, liters of water, so like 4 gallons and I did some extra light on the bottom to have a good quality of the screen and now I'm warming up still so we're gonna quench first in water then in sunflower oil and see what happened I am warming still uh, to 850 celsius degrees it's like uh, 1560 uh, Fahrenheit so it's slowly but it's reaching the temperature. Water, first try. Water, second try. The water is getting uh, pretty hot, so now the final uh, test, I mean the knife blank with the bevel. So we'll see it's crack and then I will show how brittle the steel is after the quenching in water. Okay, this is the knife I uh, quench in water. Of course, it is bent, we have some warp and now Take a look at this, it's like, you can see, that is why we are not quenching in water, we don't need glass. Now time for sunflower oil, the second part of the experiment. Let's fill the aquarium with oil. The aquarium is filled with oil, but I need to wait a little bit more because there's a lot of bubbles, of air bubbles in, in the oil. So let's give him a 10 minutes. Oil first, first try. As you can see, it's reducing the heat way slower. It's way more slower than water, so it's not that bad as looking like in water when we have very short and aggressive reaction 